Well, welcome back to Contrastly. My name's Simon Plant, and today we're going to look at the Liquify Face Aware tool. As you no doubt are aware, the Liquify tool has been around for quite a while now within Photoshop, but back in the summer it was updated and it now has the face aware features built within it, which makes life a lot more easier to adjust uh, eyes, nose, faces, etc. without having to do all the manual brushing, which can be a little bit tricky. It's very easy to uh, to make, it, make faces look ridiculous uh, without having a lot of restraint. So these new tools help you refine things a lot easier. So we're going to work on this image. This is an image I've already worked on. There's before, there's after. So I've just very subtly uh, made a few adjustments uh, to this. Not that it really needed it, but I thought it would be a good image to uh, show you some of these new features. So we're in Photoshop and I've got open my background layer. I'm going to start off by duplicating the layer. That's Command or Control J to duplicate it. Or you can drag the image down to the uh, new layer icon down here. I'm going to right click on the layer and I'm going to convert it to a smart object. Which means that we can obviously refine our adjustments and go back in and uh, fine tune them if we need to. And we're going to go to uh, Filter and then to the Liquify settings so the manual settings are still available here if you want to uh, sort of do things as it's always been done by using these various tools you can still do that but the features we're going to look at today um, are these little drop down boxes here which means we can um, adjust the uh, face, the eyes, the nose, the mouth and the face shape as well so we're going to start off, it's a, there's nothing really wrong with this image, but I just thought it was a good image to show you uh, what's available with these new settings. Um, it's a, it works quite well uh, on faces which are upright uh, in shot. If faces are slightly slanted, there has been a few issues uh, with this, uh, this new uh, software, so just be aware of that. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to make the eyes a little bit bigger on this. Now... With the Liquify tool, uh, as it used to be with these manual settings, it was always advised to just make small adjustments. Um, you've got a little bit more leeway now because uh, of these new settings make the adjustments a lot easier. Um, but still, if in doubt, just hold back a little bit. You can always go back in. We've got a smart object here. We've only got, only got to click the smart object box uh, on the layer, and we can come straight back in here and make those fine adjustments. So we're not uh, we're not applying anything uh, and having to restart again is what I'm trying to say. So eye size by dragging the slider. This is going to uh, these settings are going to apply to both of the eyes, not just one, but both of them. Uh, if you've got more than one face in the shot, you'll have face one and face two listed in this drop-down box. But we've only got one face here, so we don't have to worry about that. So eye size, I'm going to drag the eyes up, and you'll see those getting bigger or smaller, depending on which way you want to slide it. I'm going to increase the size here of the eyes. So I'm about happy. Around there looks pretty good. We can change the eye height. So make the eyes open a little bit more. So if, you're, if your subject's maybe squinting, you can just open those eyes up a little bit. I'm going to just open these up just a touch. Like so. You can also change the width of the eyes. So we can make them wider. Or narrower so we're going to widen them just a little bit not that much maybe around seven there uh, you can also tilt the eyes uh, which can make them tilt inwards like that or outwards so you can really have a bit of fun with this if you do like a caricature uh, I'm not going to move that one too much they're fine as they are and then there's the eye distance so you can bring them in which would be really strange or you can widen them on the face a little bit. I'm just going to widen them a little bit there. So that's the eyes done. Um, we can then go to the nose. If you want to change anything with the nose, bring it up further or drop it down. You can do it with this slider. I'm just going to add a little bit, bring it up her face a little bit, like so. And um, also the width, you can narrow the nose or widen it 
Um, I'm going to narrow it just a little bit. Remember, I can always come back in and apply some more if we need to. The next one is a math, and this is quite interesting. We can actually make our subjects smile a bit more, like so. Or maybe just drop the smile down a little bit, drop those lips. So I'm going to bring the smile just up somewhat around there. Uh, you can also control the upper and lower lips if you want to. I'll just bring that up a little bit. And the lower lip again, you can bring that, make that fatter or like so, or bring it up closer. I'm going to leave that around six, I think. Um, we can also control the width of the mouth. You can bring it, make it smaller. So she's puckering up her lips a little bit or widen it. Okay, I'm going to leave that as it is, I think. Yeah, all right. Um, and then the height, you can move the move the lips further apart, which can give give you some very strange effects. But you could always go in and retouch that if you really wanted to part the lips a little bit more, or you can make them narrower, which doesn't look very good. Like there, uh, that's probably all I'm going to do on this image. Uh, but you can also change things like the forehead, so you can uh, bring the forehead further down if someone's got quite a large forehead or expand it a little bit. I'm not going to move that. Uh, also the chin height, she's got a hand on her chin so it's a bit difficult in this image but you can bring the chin and make the face a little bit longer should you wish. Uh, jawline, you can bring the jaw in so maybe if someone's got quite a full face that might be quite a, a, a nice feature just to adjust. Make it a little more flattering, and also with the width as well, make somebody's face wider or narrower. I'm, I'm just, I am going to narrow this a little bit, just, just for, uh, just, just for this, this test to see how much difference that makes there. Once we're happy, click OK, mm -hmm. and that's going to apply the changes. And there's before, and there's after. So I don't think you would look at that and maybe know that someone's messed around with it. Maybe the eyes are a little bit too big on this image. Now I've adjusted the face. Um, as I said, if you've got a smart object, you can go into the liquify again. And we can go back to the eyes, perhaps. And we can maybe just make the eyes a little bit smaller. Maybe just bring the height in a little bit. As I said, when you're when you're um, adjusting these other options like the uh, face shape and stuff, you sometimes may need to go back in and just tweak little bits, and that's why it's good to have a smart object. Click OK, and now there's before, there's after. That looks a little bit more natural. As I said, if you want to do a caricature or something, this is a great feature. Um, I think just the ease of use, as I said, with the liquefied tool of old, fantastic tool but it could be a little bit tricky you're making manual adjustments this restrains things so you get like especially with the eyes you get a more uniform look to the image rather than doing one eye at a time you're doing both so more chance of being able to keep the eyes um, synchronized so they're a similar size etc you can still go in with the manual settings with the brushes but um, I think this is a great time saver uh, and a great feature for the liquify tool and of course course it's not just for faces or uh, altering people's uh, bodies you can also use it for other features as well I've used it on uh, buildings for instance when I've had to go very close to a building with a wide angle lens which is not ideal I've gone in with a liquefied tool and I've managed to alter the perspective of that building to make it fit a little bit better within a composition so uh, many more uses than just uh, facial retouching so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short tutorial and uh, it's given you a bit of an insight to the new features with the liquid vital and i hope to catch you on the next one cheers for watching